hello everybody and welcome back to the channel so today i will show you my hauls uh i got a really good ones i'm so happy with uh, my recent hauls and it's not just uh uh like like die cast cars but uh other stuff that is part also of my hobby i will show them to you here so anyways uh yeah also review one car uh from uh from our, our latest haul so anyways let's start off first right here uh yeah with this one so i got this set like uh this is the modern classic sets you know that already but i uh i bought this protective case and i think this is really cool yeah you see that there it's really cool you can hang this on your wall or or something it's really nice uh bought this for around 380 pesos or that is uh, i don't know maybe around uh seven or six us dollars depending on the conversion rate right now it's really cool man i love this it's my first <laughs> protector like this uh as i am yeah keeping this modern classic sealed only have one set of that one so keeping that sealed now opening that one and uh, also right here a couple of cars from mini gt uh this is the nissan gtr uh, gt500 number 23 yeah here you go this is the the latest one that has arrived from hobby stock it's really uh, a beautiful car I will review this probably in a uh, different video but yeah I'm just showing show, showing the cars here showcasing the cars um, and also yeah this one is actually really nice oh by the way yeah this one costs like 20 US dollars uh, yeah, 1000 pesos you don't get a discount for that also and uh, this one right here I have been like Come on, focus, man. Yeah, I have been uh, looking for this one in a, a long time. And yeah, with the right timing, I bought one at Hobby Stock. This is around 900 pesos. Yeah, close to 20 US dollars. I will review this in a separate video also. It's probably my favorite uh, Sylvia out there for Mini GT. So from the 2022 formula drift japan race number 555 also nice numbering right there number 555 triple five um yeah i i had this before or i i have this but i bought another one the 82 lamborghini countach from hot wheels um I, I'm, I'm still looking for the blue one couldn't find one at a good price but my friend offered uh, me this for like something inside yeah for around 800 pesos that is 18 us dollars couldn't resist it since uh yeah i bought mine it was pre-ordered around 2000 plus pesos uh, 50 us dollars so couldn't resist the price for this so in case you don't know uh this is how it looks like big fan of the lamborghini Countach casting and so happy to have snag another one of this so i have two right now in my collection still looking for the blue one yeah also this one um this is a bmw m3 number three from the 1987 ATCC uh, race, this is the the winner, JPS Team BMW uh, M3 from Mini GT. Uh, again, same pricing for the Silvia, um, around 18 US dollars. I thought this was cheaper, but I think this is like uh, an exclusive one. I'm not really sure, but yeah, I just love the BMW M3 casting. I'll be doing a review on a separate video of this. So for uh, this video, yeah, also more, some more stuff here. For my hobby, I also collect 
like rare uh, gaming disc from a PlayStation and Xbox so I got these two right here yeah the amazing spider-man 2 and Godzilla Godzilla is real I mean this one really Godzilla is is uh, really rare if you if you look at eBay it's, it's quite uh, expensive I just bought this for around uh, if, if this will focus here I'll just I'll just state it 500 pesos 10 US dollars on eBay this one sells maybe around more than two hundred dollars it's crazy man this thing yeah just a few copies were released and discontinued also yeah this one amazing spider-man 2 i'm collecting like spider-man games always a big fan of spider-man um, xbox 360 games also spider-man edge of time for the xbox 360 I think Xbox don't have like the Marvel license anymore, so this is kind of rare, kind of expensive. Couldn't uh, say no to this. This one's uh, yeah, bought this for around eight dollars. Born Conspiracy also. I haven't played this one, but I think this is also rare since this is from a movie. I like uh, those type of games to collect. Um, Green Lantern man look at this I didn't know this one existed but again from the movie yeah couldn't pass on this don't know what the price of like these two are but the spider-man and Godzilla are pretty expensive for this two I don't know how much they are but yeah, I just found them interesting and um, yeah the last one for my call my haul <laughs> excuse me is from Eno 64 so check this one out this is the Hong Kong toy car salon uh, exclusive special edition 2023 special edition this one has a chase I'm actually hoping we could get the chase here I will open this one um, and do a review on this so uh, join me as we turn around here to our uh, review table and again I'm hoping I could get like a chase version of the F40 I'm also pre-ordering uh, pre-ordering uh, like a different variants of the uh, Liberty Walk uh, F40 from uh, Eno 64 so yeah let's let's have a review of this one so we'll have a review of the Eno 64 Liberty Walk F40 40 so this is how the box looks like um, yeah it's a nice looking box and it's sealed and again actually there is a chase version of this one I'm hoping I could get a chase in this video <laughs> I haven't actually gotten a single chase ever uh, yeah from even from mini GT from Kaido has mini GT no chase whatsoever I had to buy one to buy the chases online but again this is this is it this is the box it feels so premium it has a dent though and get yeah, good fonts in this good design got chrome silver and you open it like this so this is it man this is <laughs> the moment of truth let's see if we can get a chase I'm really hoping we will get a chase so here we go oh no no chase just the regular version but again I'm still pretty happy like this is one of my dream cars for this year and uh, I'm, I'm just so impressed like with you know 64 cars oh by the way it has this right here this yeah, this is the background man camera is not focusing on this it's focusing on Hulk <laughs> So anyways again uh, this is the background good fonts you got chrome silver on the front one of the fonts I mean let's get Hulk out of here <laughs> so we won't have uh, much problem so anyways this is it yeah, acrylic box good 
packaging and just an awesome car look at that it is in matte black the chase is like silver so check out the base really good artwork on the base it's like graffiti style lots of details on the base car has fantastic details so check out the front yeah i think the 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 wiper is part of the windows and they just painted it yeah i think so do you agree with me on that one leave a comment so good details yeah they get the, the side so some details right there it also says Lambert, uh, Liberty Walk. And uh, man, I can't read that. I have bad eyesight. Maybe you can. So, yeah. Not a lot of details. Nothing too distracting. It also has like the Ferrari. I mean, yeah, Ferrari logo. And here's the rear. So, plastic. I believe those are like plastic headlights, which is my favorite type. Uh, lots of details right there plate number is also detailed exhaust is detailed the wheels are magnificent i don't have a, like a screwdriver with me right now so yeah i guess uh we won't be able to test this if this is this will roll but i do believe like uh, some cars from you know 64 roll so maybe i'll do that in our shorts and uh takes off and look at the front details here love the headlights those are plastic headlights also interior is also detailed we got yeah red racing seats dashboard is black it's a fine car no carbon fiber uh parts here for the car it's all matte black and look at the engine really nice details on the engine man really impressive car from Eno 64 uh, I think like yeah they, they are like one of the best 164 scale uh, brands out there so yeah I hope you enjoy this uh, video man I hope you enjoyed the Eno 64 Liberty Walk F40 hope to see you soon on our next video and thank you for watching again see you soon probably uh, a news and update ahead bye bye